Buckingham Palace is reportedly angry at coverage and comments surrounding a private lunch attended by both Queen Camilla and TV personality Jeremy Clarkson. The palace is understood to be feeling that attempts to link Mr. Clarkson's recent remarks against Meghan Markle and Camilla just because they were at the same event are highly misleading, it has been reported. Moreover, Yahoo News UK also wrote it is understood that Queen Consort remains committed to highlighting and combating violence against women and girls and she resolutely condemns such abuse. Indeed, Camilla has long put the spotlight on victims of domestic violence and abuse. Last month, during a high-profile reception held at Buckingham Palace, she also denounced the global pandemic of violence against women. King Charles' wife was among the guests of a star-studded event held on December 14, believed to have been attended also by Mr. Clarkson and Piers Morgan, both vocal critics of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Two days after the private lunch, reportedly held at Michelin-starred restaurant Murano in London's lavish borough of Mayfair, The Sun published an incendiary column penned by Mr. Clarkson. In it, the former Top Gear host said he hates the Duchess of Sussex on a cellular level and he fantasizes about her being paraded naked through the streets while crowds throw excrement at her. These remarks quickly drew wide criticism from an array of members of the public and public figures, including Labour MP Diane Abbott, Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon who branded them vile and Claire Waxman OBE, the Independent Victims Commissioner. Mr. Clarkson's own daughter Emily also took to Instagram to distance herself from her father's comment, saying, My views are and have always been clear when it comes to misogyny, bullying and the treatment of women by the media. I want to make it very clear that I stand against everything that my dad wrote about Meghan Markle and I remain standing in support of those that are targeted with online hatred. More than 60 MPs also condemned the violent misogynistic language used in the article in a letter addressed to The Sun's editor, Victoria Newton. The article has since become the independent press standards organizations, Ipso, most complained about article, with more than 17,500 people issuing a complaint. On Monday, three days after the comment piece was shared, Mr. Clarkson took to Twitter to address the controversy sparked by his story. He wrote, Oh dear! I've rather put my foot in it. In a column I wrote about Meghan, I made a clumsy reference to a scene in Game of Thrones and this has gone down badly with a great many people. I'm horrified to have caused so much hurt and I shall be more careful in future. He also asked to have the story removed from the Sun's website. No member of the royal family, included the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have made comments on the article. Buckingham Palace, Yahoo News wrote, has refused to comment on the column. Express.co.uk has contacted Buckingham Palace for further comment, 